Here in Business Central, we are currently looking at data in what's referred to as a list view. Depending on the table that you view, if I click items, when you refer to this, uh, some would call it as a data grid, a grid of information, of data, similar to how it would display in an Excel file with different columns. This is referred to as a list or a list view. The list view determines the action menu that will load directly underneath it. So when you're in a customer, the menus relate specifically to what you can do to help you navigate and manipulate customer information. If in vendors, the menus have changed to support the vendor function of the system. Now in most views in Business Central, you'll see on the right hand plane here, there is a fact box. The fact box can be turned on and off by clicking the eye. The fact box relates to the line that you are currently clicking. So school or fine art, this is telling us this customer ID and their sales statistics for this period. Further than this, you have columns that are customizable depending on how you choose to personalize or whether your role has been personalized for you. For example, top right hand corner, we're going to click the settings cog. I'm going to click personalize. And from here, we'll be in personalization mode where I can choose to hide this column here because it's empty. Hiding currency code. At the same time, there will be more columns in the list view that you can add by selecting add field. And on the right hand side, it's going to load for us available columns that we may want to turn around and include, for example, credit limit. Other things on this bar here that are applicable, all of the column headers are able to be filtered by pressing the down arrow and you can filter to a particular value. For example, I want to filter to this field here, which is AU, I can click the column, filter to this value, and the filter will be set and it will only show me everybody that's in Australia. Filters can also be accessed by using Show Fill Filter Plane. Now you'll have advanced filter options, which can be saved, and when they're saved, they appear on the left of the action bar underneath existing filters that have been created for you. The last thing that you should think of is the way that you view your information. So if I'm in items, I may want to view them by clicking the view and changing it to tiles. Here now I can see pictures of all of my products and services that are available. When I change back to customers, it's going to show me the customers logo if I change to the same view. Tool tiles, list. I'm going to clear the filter that is here. Excellent. The last thing that's super useful is how do you get this list view into Excel? Well, there's two methods for this. The share button here, click it once. You can open this in Excel, which will download this Excel file to open with the data in it. Or you can edit in Excel, which uses an extension that loads within in Dynamics within Excel. And when enabled, it authenticates your Excel with this Business Central instance and will download the data live and allow you to publish back from Microsoft Excel. This feature is only available on PCs and does not work on the Mac edition of Microsoft Excel. That concludes our tutorial.